Hello friends, welcome to Physics with Ben. This is a continuation on the video series on the topic scalar and vector quantities. This topic is a very, very broad topic and I have taught it this far. You may love to click in the description box below to find the video links on the previous videos I have done on this topic. I did a video on how to method of finding the resultant of two vectors. I said there are two methods in finding the resultant of two vectors. Method one is by using the parallelogram law of vectors. By using the parallelogram law of vectors, you make use of the cosine and the sine rule. And I have done series of videos on that. Click in the description and you will find those videos. In today's video, I want us to concentrate on finding the resultant of two vectors by triangle method, as promised in the other video. This method is also called the scale drawing method. There are situations examiners may ask you to find the resultant of two vectors by calculations or by scale method or by parallelogram law of vectors. So it is expedient you know all of this method as a student so that you stand uh, a better chance in answering all the questions and not missing out your marks. So without wasting more time, let us go straight to the business of the day. You don't need a calculator in doing this work. You need uh, a protractor. You need a 30 cm transparent ruler a pen or a pencil. So I have a question for us here that will guide us in doing this. The question reads, find by scale drawing or by drawing and by calculation the resultant of two forces, 3 Newton and 4 Newton, inclined to each other at A, 30 degrees, B, 90 degrees, and C, 120 degrees degrees. Now, we are going to draw this. Uh, if I'm going to use my pen and my notebook, I may say, let's 1 cm, that's, you, have, you have to choose your scale. You have to choose your scale, just like you are plotting a graph. So, we are going to say, for, I want, if I, if I choose 1 cm to 1 Newton here, this, uh, the drawing will be too tiny for you to see. So I am going to amplify my drawing by saying, let uh, 2cm be equals to 1 Newton. Yes. So I will say that uh, let 2cm be equals to what? 1 Newton. That is the scale that I have defined. You must do this. Because this gives the examiners an overview of what you are doing. You must state the scale that you are using. So they will use the scale to judge your answer with. A, a five candidates can answer this particular question using different scales and they can still get an answer that is very, very okay. What matters here is that your, ans your, your scale drawing answer and your calculation answer, the difference should not be too much. So I have defined my scale already. The first question say, which is A. A, these guys are acting at, um, at, three, at 30 degrees. And we have them as a 3 Newton and a 4 uh, Newton guy. Good. So by scale drawing, my, my 2 cm is equal to uh, 1 uh, Newton. So the, the next thing you have to do is to place your ruler in a perfectly horizontal state. Good. So right now my ruler is here. And um, from here to here is 2. Uh, it's because I'm teaching, that's why I'm using this pen. You have to use a very sharp pencil because you are working with a protractor. And for you to get accurate, uh, to avoid error due to parallax, you have to use a very sharp pencil. I am making use of this because I am teaching. So um, you, as you are watching, you may love to use 
your sharp pencil. So this is uh, from here to here, this is two, that is one eaten. From here to here is two, from here to here, this is uh, this is two, four, six. Good. So uh, two newton, two cm to one newton. So from here to six is is my three newton. Is my three newton good? So this is my three newton, and then I'll put an arrow here. If I want, I will extend this line with dotted lines. Yes, there's a reason for that with broken lines or dotted lines. I'm trying to create a Cartesian plane here. Good. The next thing is you you place your protractor. Make sure it is appearing this way. Good. Uh, this um, this dot here, you can see this calibration here. You have the arrow, you have up this and this way, like the quadrant. Good. So you this quadrant with put on the head of this on this arrow here of, of this vector here so we are going to place this here and make sure there's an alignment good now it is the acting at 30 degrees this is 10 20 30 you put a dot here you put a dot outside here good you take it away. The next thing is you bring back this ruler. We are reading, we're taking from here to here. We're, we're using this side. So you place this side like this. Don't forget, this one is 4 Newton, and we're using 2 cm to 1 Newton. So we, this is 1, this is 1. Two, three, four. Good. Take it again. This is one, two, three, four. So this is our four knitting. Our four knitting is on point eight. So you put an arrow here again. Good. And this is your your four knitting. Good. So this angle is um, 30 degrees. That angle is 30 degrees. The next thing to do, no, the, 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 how you are supposed to draw it is, it is tail to head, tail to head. The head is here, the tail of vector four is here. Then the tail of the next vector, which is the resultant vector we are looking for, will be down here right now. The tail will face this side. So the next thing to do is to join this line. By joining this line, you have succeeded in finding the resultant vector. Good. Now let's measure this line. From this point to this point, this is a 14, 14.5. Yeah, 14.5 cm. Yeah, 14.5 cm. So this is 14.5 cm. So it is 14.5 cm. But that's not our answer. You said, so we read that, uh, we said if 2, c, if two cm if 2 cm is equal to 1 meter, so 14.5 uh, cm is equal to x meter. That is, you divide this by 2. And when you do that, this is the same thing as, uh, as 7.25 meter. That is the answer there. So to make this look beautiful, we, we are going to find this angle as well. You know that the sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 30, this angle is simply 150 degrees. 
Yeah, this is the angle, 150 degrees. So we can name this as our A, B, and C. So that the answer for the resultant vector is AC. So our AC is equal to the resultant force, and that is equal to 7.25 Newton. That is the answer. So by calculation, how do you go, go, how do you go about it by calculation? By calculation, uh, we say that you can only use cosine rule when the two sides are given and there's an angle in between. So you can use cosine rule. Don't forget that this angle 2 can be found and this angle 2, let's call this angle beta, can also be found. Good. So we, 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 we cannot find this by calculation by saying that our AC uh, square, which is the same thing as this 4 square, is equal to side AB square plus side BC square minus 2 um, minus 2 into AB BC cos what? cos 150 if you evaluate that correctly the resultant vector is the same thing as a 3 square plus a 4 square um, minus 2 into 3 um, times times 4 times cos 150 if you do that correctly we have this is 9 plus 16 uh, 12 times 2 that minus 24 times cos 150 cos 150 uh, cos 150 will give you minus 0 0.86 and so you have 45.78 so uh, we'd write that this implies that the the resultant force is the root of 45.8.784 if you do that correctly you have the square root the root of 45.8 seven eight four and that will give you uh, six point seven six six which is approximately equal to what seven nathan to one uh, to one two to one whole number so you can see that even here we have seven point two Newton. If you compare this answer with this calculated answer, this is the calculated answer. This is the calculated answer, and this is the this is the analytical answer, the scale drawing answer. So if you put this answer to the nearest whole number, you're gonna have seven Newton here, just like you have seven Newton here. As simple as A B C. So you guys can go ahead. And replicate what I just did here to to find the to find B which is 90 and also uh, C which is 120 I'd love to see your answers in the comment box don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video thank you God bless you bye bye